welcome to this video, my name is Christian from Beyond Premiere and the promo for episode 10, A Dream of a Dream, give us a glimpse into the dramatic events that would unfold as the conflict between Toranaga and Ishido reach its ending. War is on the horizon and our beloved characters are facing tough choices. The episode likely will depict the aftermath of the battle for Saga Castle, revealing the victors and the losses suffered on both sides. Toranaga's strategic planning and emetical sacrifice may have paved the way for his victory, but the cause of war will be evident. Blackthorn will likely deal with the emotional weight of her the dead of Mariko and confront Toranaga about the true nature of his plan and the sacrifice involved. This could lead to a tense confrontation, a revaluation of their relationship, or even a shift in Blackthorn allegiance. Don't you understand? I came to your shores to use you! His decision to stay in Japan or return to England will be a pivotal moment in his character arc. Achiva's actions also suggest that her true motives and loyalties might be revealed in the finale. He could play a surprising role in the outcome of the conflict, potentially betraying Ishido or seeking to secure her own position of power. Yabushigi treachery is likely to be exposed, leading to his own downfall and potential execution by Toronaga. His ending will serve as a consequence for his insightful actions and his lack of loyalty. With the conflict resolved, the episode would likely explore the future of Japan under Toranaga's rule. But first things first, war is coming, and it's going to be massive. Ishido Sama has mobilized to war. Toranaga will be dead in weeks. The promo for episode 10 doesn't beat around. Father Albedo lays it out plain and simple. Ishido has mobilized to war. Toranaga will be dead in weeks. Boom, just like that, we know the stakes are higher than ever. These two powerhouses, Toranaga and Ishido, are about to clash out in a battle that could change the course of history and Japan. The statement, Toranaga will be dead in weeks, reinforced the danger he faced and raised the question of whether he can survive the coming battle. But wait, there's more. The promo also hints at some juicy shift in loyalties and alliance. Take a look at Father Albedo in the promo he's standing side by side with our main man, John Blackthorn. This is a pretty big deal, considering he has been him Ishido for most of the series. It could be that medical tragic dead has finally pushed him over the edge. Is he ready to jump chip and join forces with Toranaga? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. When it comes to war, you better choose your friends wisely. Now, speaking of Blackthorn, it looks like our favorite sailor is going to go through some serious soul searching. In the promo, we see him confront Toranaga and he doesn't stop words. Don't you understand? I came to your shores to use you. That's got to sting. It seems like Blackthorn is starting to question his place in this whole mess. Is he just a pawn in Toranaga's game? Is he finally realizing the true cause of his loyalty? This could be a major turning point for Blackthorn, and he sets the stage for some juicy drama in the finale. But the hits just keep on coming. The promo also gave us a peek at a scene where Ishido and his council are discussing the release of the war, the beginning of the war. This could be a real game changer. We also with Madigo out of the picture, Ishido might be starting to rethink his strategy. Holding on to these, those hostage might not be the solution or the way to go. Releasing them could be a way to score some brownie points and rally to pray support before the big showdown. It's a risky move, but in war, sometimes you gotta roll the dice. And let's not forget about Yabuchigi the ultimate wall card. This guy has been playing both sides like a pro, but it looks like his luck might be running out. In the promo, we see him being captured by, by Toronaga's men, which can only mean one thing, his treasury has been exposed. I imagine that if Toronaga is going to find out that Yabushigi was involved in the attack in episode 9, that the Kilmatico, there's going to be a hell to pay. That Poku might be the only way out of his slippery snake, but even in that, Yabushigi actions are sure to have major consequences as well. Now let's talk about theories. One juicy possibility is that we might see the destruction of Blackthorn's ship. In the promo, there's a blink and you'll miss it a shot of someone pulling something out of the water. Could this be the wreckage of the ship that is owned to Blackthorn? That ship has taken back to England, his last connection to his old life. If Turnag is behind the destruction, it could be a power move to keep Blackthorn on a short leech. After all, was a samurai without his sword, or in this case, was a sailor without his ship. But there's another theory that's been making the rounds. 
And it's all about the battle of the Gigahara. We have the images from the promo that you're gonna see in here. This historic clash is a pivotal moment in Japanese history. Some fans think that the finale is gonna focus more on the political intrigue and the character drama before the battle itself. And yes, think about it, the series has always been a show about the personal journeys and relationship of his characters. The real meat of the story might lie in the aftermath of the battle, as we may see them with the consequences of whatever happens in this war and the new reality of Japan. So what does the future hold for our beloved characters? Will Toronaga win, cementing his place as the supreme ruler of Japan, or will Ishido's schemes and treachery win the day? And what about Blackthorn? Will he choose to embrace his new life as a samurai? Or will he find a way to return to England and the family he left behind. Mariko's death has left a huge hole in the hearts of the characters and the audience as well. Her sacrifice has been a driving force throughout the series and is sure to have a profound impact on the final episode. The promo gave us a glimpse of Mariko's cross being thrown into, into the ocean, a powerful symbol of letting go and moving forward. It's a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there's always hope for a brighter future. As for the other characters, their fate is still up in the air. Will Yabuchigi pay the ultimate price for his betrayal? Will Omi make a surprise comeback? We see him in the trailer, so yes. But the promo leave us with some several questions and possibilities for the season finale. Will Turnaga survive the war with Ichido? What role will Blackthorn play in the final battle? And as well, if he's gonna return to Japan. Now, Obviously, another question that we all may have is what's going to happen after season one. Maybe the success of the series will pave the way for more shows like this in the future. With so much rich history and culture to explore, the possibilities are endless. I cannot wait for the finale and in the words of Toronaga and get ready. Now, one thing that I forgot to discuss and that is the letter. So remember, before Mariko is about to submit to the doing the seppuku, she gave the letter to someone. So what are gonna be her last words? I imagine that Blackthorn is gonna read this letter. That happened in the book, that happened in the original series. I cannot wait to see his, her words and what she's gonna say to Blackthorn. This is gonna be sad, but also beautiful. Now, before we disconnect, I just wanna say thank you for all the support to the channel. 8,000 subscribers, super grateful for all the support. It means a lot to me seeing your comments and your likes and enjoying the videos. Thank you so much. But that's the video for today. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.